I've had a few comments recently asking to see different clone troopers or my name clones and I thought I really need to do a video because I haven't done, I don't think I've ever done a clone army video. I've done one with all my Star Wars figures last year. I've got a bunch more clones now. And though you do see most of them in the intros to most of my videos, because they are on the wall, there are a bunch of other troopers that you don't get to see. So this video is dedicated to them and I didn't realize they were worth this much. To get the value of these, I actually just added up the prices of the sets. I know Bricklink fluctuates, so no matter when you're seeing this video, the price in the title is how much I spent on these. Over 750 pound is an absurd amount of money, but over time and with all the models that they come with, with the other figures in the set, because fives only came in the Tantive and that was nothing to do with Clone Wars besides the anniversary fives minifigure that we got. So I'll be breaking down the prices as well, saying how I got each of these minifigures as well as keeping an eye out in the next couple of days for the new issue of the Lego Star Wars magazine because we do get a specialist which is going to be coming with two macro binoculars because you get the one for the clone, you get the one spare and it will be nice to have another one of them to match the heavies because you don't really want to collect the battle packs, otherwise you end up with way too many officers. So I look forward to picking my hands up on that and hopefully seeing that Sabine will be in the next issue. I think Europe has already got the next issue and Vader is meant to be June, July, August magazine. So that would definitely be one to miss out on. But it's really cool some of the minifigures we get in the Lego magazine. So, so definitely don't underestimate their value. But now let's get to the clones and I'll show you my army. So this army might look a little small, especially for, as we said, over 750 pounds worth of troops. But the main value is going to be in my trooper display on the wall here. You can see we've got Commander Cody, Captain Rex, we've got Arc Trooper 5s, we've got Captain Vaughn, and we've got a bunch of other different specialists. I've actually merged some 332 and 501st battle packs here to create a specialist for, for the 332nd company. We've also got a custom Captain Wilco there. I think that's the only other custom. We've got Commander Fox, we've got the 187th Legion, we've got the Clone Gunner, we've got another Coruscant Guard, the 212th there, the only clone trooper I'm missing from this in the 2020 clone style, that's basically any of these clones with leg and feet printing, is the 212th Airborne, which there is a spot just top left for. I'm yet to get my hands on them. The figures sell in for upwards of £60, and that's a used minifigure, and we also have this giant big fig of Captain Rex with the Rex helmet, that looks absolutely amazing and is my biggest clone trooper. So that's got to count for at least 100 clone troopers, I think. But then we have the more common clone troopers here. We've got a bunch of these. In fact, the first two rows are all from the 202501 first battle pack. I've got so many of them and this isn't actually all of them. I do have another two just up here on my display. On the left, that is my custom Speeder and Walker minifigure scale, of course, 145 scale for anyone that is new. And I think that does look really, really cool. But we also have a few more specialist five of first battle packs. And this is what I mean. We've got an officer at the front and we have two on the display. To the right, we've got one in the 332nd group on the left. And then we've got a five of first officer up here. I have three officers. And I only have, well, I have three specialists because I have three officers and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven heavies, seven heavies, one, two, oh no, because I've got the 332nd heavy. So now I've got seven heavies and we do need a few more specialists. You can't just have one per group. You definitely need to have a few more. So I can see the magazine being very popular this month. And then we have the 332nd. What I've actually done to create a whole line of just 330 second troopers. This is two battle packs worth here because I've taken two 501st figures, which you can pick up. The only way you can get 501st figures now with the helmet holes is in the Bark Speeder Escape and then swap the helmets 501st, 330 seconds. We've got two 501st captains. I don't really know if there are any 501st captains. I guess there's a Vaughn from before they all painted their helmets. But other than that, 
I don't really think we've seen that Captain Lapel on anyone else. We then have two 12s. Two of these were from the Star Wars magazine. Another great example of minifigures that come in the Lego Star Wars magazine. Clone minifigures at that. We've got Stormtroopers. We've got two 12. We are getting some 501st Specialist. And we've also had two Coruscant Guards. So three of these two 12th Troopers have come from the ATTE Walker. Two of the Coruscant Guard from the Coruscant Guard gunship and then two of each of these from the magazine and actually I did get some of the Coruscant Guard in the battle pack I've only got one battle pack so far so one of these is from the battle pack and there is one in my display and we've also got a shiny phase two clone trooper in the display so I guess there are a few more clones than you can see here as far as the common ones and a 187th but these are my duplicate clones that are already represented in that display. And if you're wondering about this 212th clone that seems to be extra from the other five I've listed, well, this is the one that came in last year's 2023 LEGO Star Wars advent. And the reason I've left it till last is because it's not the only clone that came in that set. I mean, do we consider advents to be a LEGO set? I definitely do. And in that set, we also got the Omega from the unjustifiably expensive Justifier, as well as also the Bad Batch from the Bad Batch Marauder or the Bad Batch Shuttle, which I would love to get a micro of just to get Crosshair in his original armor. I think that would look pretty cool, but that is every single clone in my Phase 2 2020 style clone army because I do have this 1501st from quite some time ago. So that has been my first official clone army video. Now, hopefully we can look back at this in a year's time, in two years time, five, 10, however many years time and see how far the clone army has gone because this is just from picking up the odd set. I do remember picking up five or six, I think five of the 2020 battle pack. That was all Lego allowed you to order because that was amazing, getting your hands on some 501st. I did build a Jedi Temple stair display as well to display them and Anakin, and that did look really cool. So I'll definitely have to do something like that for next year, the anniversary of Revenge of the Sith, and hopefully we get a few more clones. I'd love to see sets like battle packs with brand new clones that we haven't got either for a long time or haven't got at all, especially around Order 66. There's so much they can do, and everyone, I think everyone, is hoping for some Galactic Marines. So let me know what clones you're looking forward to LEGO releasing in the future. Perhaps let me know how many clones are in your army. And if you did count how many clones I've got in my army, leave your comments because I have got a few more since I was last asked. I hope you enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you did and subscribe for more awesome LEGO Star Wars content and other themes as well as Star Wars. I will be covering other sets. But that is all for today and may the bricks be with you always.